Hi, my name is George and I with Great Ace Contracting. We specialize in painting and sealants nationwide. And today we're going to talk about paint and sealants field testing. One of the main causes of exterior paint failures is pH burn. What is pH? pH is a scale of 0 to 14 that measures the acidity and or the alkalinity of a substrate. Readings of 0 to 6 show the acidity of a substrate with 0 being the strongest presence of acid. Readings from 8 to 14 measure the alkalinity of a substrate with 14 being very strong alkalinity. 7 would be neutral. Why is pH important when it comes to painting? Traditional paints can withstand a pH tolerance between 6 and 9. Painting over a high pH building can cause pH burn and or peeling paint. Substrates that need to be tested for pH. Poured concrete. When concrete is first poured, it reads very high on pH, usually greater than 13, which is high alkalinity. As concrete cures, it decreases its alkalinity, which reduces its pH on the scale towards neutral. Today I'm going to show you how to test the concrete panel for a pH. What you'll need is water, as well as a pH pencil. What you'll first want to do is wet the surface of the area to be tested. Or allow the water to permeate into the concrete. And then with your pH pencil, you'll want to mark the concrete on the wet surface. Once the surface has been marked, you want to hold your pH scale to where you marked on the surface to see where the pH value is. Right now the panels are reading at a 7 pH, which is neutral. Most exterior coatings need a pH from 6 to 10 to be applied directly to the surface. For higher pHs above 10, a Loxon primer is required. The pH test results are higher than the paint spec permits. What now? You can always wait. As mentioned before, as concrete cures, it reduces in alkalinity. There is always the option to wait to paint the concrete until it neutralizes on its own. It can take concrete anywhere from 45 to 90 days to neutralize. The amount of time for concrete to reduce its alkalinity is not certain and highly depends on weather conditions. What if the schedule doesn't allow time to wait for concrete to neutralize on its own? You can always prime. Loxon Masonry Primer is an acrylic primer that is engineered for resisting high alkalinity and can be applied to surfaces with the pH range from 6 to 13. Along with its resistance to high pH, Loxon Primer can be applied in as little as seven days after the concrete is poured. Once concrete surface is primed, the substrate is now able to receive a paint coating. Acrylic Masonry Primer carries a 14-day recoat window and must be top coated prior to 14 days. Another cause of paint failure is peeling. Poor adhesion to the substrate. How to test for adhesion. Test method A, X-cut test. What you'll need for this test is a box cutter and a piece of tape. What you want to do is make sure that you have a box cutter that has a new razor that's nice and sharp. You'll want to cut an X into the coating. And where that X is on the coating, you'll want to apply a piece of masking tape to that X at the intersection of the lines. You'll apply the tape to the intersection of the coating, push down, allow the tape to adhere to the coating, and then you'll want to pull the tape off quickly at an angle. What you're looking for is to ensure that the coating is actually stuck to the actual substrate. And as you'll see, there isn't any failure to the actual coating. You'll see failure with, at the intersection of the X if paint starts to flap off of the substrate. This particular test has passed. Adhesion of the coating is assessed on a scale from 0 to 5, 0 being greater than 65% of the area removed and 5 being 0% of the area removed. The adhesion test failed. What now? Prime. If the paint system does not already have a primer included, it's best to use one of the following primers. Loxon Masonry Primer. Loxon Masonry Primer is best for porous surfaces where specified acrylic coating is not bonding. An adhesion test must be performed on primer coating once applied to the surface and cured for a minimum of seven days. The Loxon primer has failed adhesion. What next? Macropoxy 920 pre-prime. 
Macropoxy 920 pre-prime is 100% solid, penetrating epoxy primer that is meant to use over non-porous surfaces, steel or dense concrete. Adhesion test is to be for performed on the primer coating once applied to surface and cured for a minimum of seven days. It's always best practice to perform adhesion tests prior to the commencement of painting operations to ensure the specified system will ad properly adhere. When painting over precast panels, which are more dense than traditional pour tilt-up panels, it's good practice to perform an acrylic primer as well as an epoxy primer test to ensure proper adhesion to the substrate. I hope you enjoyed learning about paint and sealants field testing today. My name is George and I with Great Days Contracting. With any additional questions, please feel free to give us a call or visit our website at graydays.com.